<laughs> Welcome to Switch It Up. I don't know. I'll probably stop doing that intro. <laughs> we are um, finishing up New Mexico. Yes. And I'm getting ready to get on the rig to check to make sure their roof is okay. Because we had some eventful situation getting to where we are. Because of Sheila's doing, of course. <laughs> All right. Sheila, where have we been the last two days? We went to the cliff dwellings. Yes, and those were actually pretty cool. So we're gonna get to show you that. And we're finishing up- The catwalk. The catwalk, which when she told me today is going to be an eventful driving day. Yes, you can make it here. Look, we're here. I don't know about our roof, but we will go check on that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Yes. Yeah, it was actually pretty incredible. So let's just take you on a little trip down memory lane to back about 1200 years ago wasn't that about then the cat the catwalk or yesterday yesterday 1200 and then this is 1800s yeah the 1200s and 1800s there's a little history going on <laughs> <laughs> all right let's do it a man and a woman left their home to switch things up and go on the some lucky charms for morning. <laughs> Todd loves lucky charms. <laughs> I do love lucky charms for breakfast. Okay, Sheila says she I, has... I have a uh, question for you. Uh, yeah. So because I have a question for you, you turn on the camera. But here's my camera. I have a question. I have narrowed today's options down to... Okay, first let me tell you the problem. Problem was is there's a lot of things that I want to do in this area to go see, but because we had to stay longer, waiting for, find the brake part, we can leave as early, we don't have as much time here. So out of my top four choices of what to do around here, I need you to help me determine what we're gonna do today. I have narrowed them down for you so it's not overwhelming. There's three, three choices. We can go to the cliff dwellings, we can go to Rock City, and we go to this area called a catwalk. Those are three things I want to do. And we're gonna go downtown, historic little Silver City. We're doing that one regardless. But those other three, let's talk about those, shall we? What's the catwalk? Well, it looks like it's a like an old 1800s mine, but they, a lot of the catwalk for that area is gone, and so they've rebuilt it, but it's kind of like through these rocks and cliffs and over water and Looks like a cool, it's a walk. They're all walks. You're going for a walk. We'll call, I'll call it a walk, it's not a hike. It's a walk. <laughs> okay. I'll pack snacks. <laughs> I need snacks. Rock City is rocks and cliff dwellings are, are, are dwellings. Like from. What do you mean they're just rocks? Just rocks and I don't want to go to just rocks. Okay. Does that, sound, that doesn't even sound like fun. Okay, no rocks. <clears throat> But they need a, a better name. Do they have like pictures of the rocks? Well, you kind of remember like Rock City. Yeah, I remember Rock City. In Tennessee? Yeah, it was okay. beautiful. It was beautiful. There's a Rock City in New Mexico. Mm. I'll tell you what. We've looked at rocks in New Mexico for the last... I don't know how long. I don't need to see any more rocks. Okay. You guys are doing great on rocks. <laughs> <laughs> so... We're narrowing that down to some cave people, and yeah, and those are my top two that I really wanted to go do. So I'm trying to figure cave. out if we can get them both in today. <sighs> and one of them I think would be a great motorcycle ride. Yeah, but it's going to only be 60 today, and you get cold. I have cold weather gear. I have a friend that made me buy all that. <laughs> He still <laughs> rename, <laughs> remain nameless. He still remain nameless. <laughs> His name is a curse word sometimes. <laughs> it's going to be 64. All right. All right. We're hiking. Walking. Walking. Long ways. And we're going to do 
cave people. They're not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, they might have alien stuff. <sighs> Let the aliens go, Todd. I know there's no Bigfoots here because, well, there could be, I guess there I was I think some... it's too hot. We got to go to cold. Somebody reached out to us and mm -hmm. said we could go to New Jersey. I'm super excited. Yeah. So we're going to start planning a Bigfoot adventure. So we've got cave people and some catwalk. Caves and cats. If we can fit them both in, I say we do it. But how long is each one? Does are they close Pro together? No problem is is we're here, and on the map they're this way. That's the story of our life. <laughs> one of them might be on our way to Arizona, but I don't know if it's a rig friendly road. Mm -hmm. So we need to we could we could put it into the GPS the Garmin out in the truck today and see if it would let us go that way. Okay. Okay. What are you hawing about over there? I'm preparing my mind for what is to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys already know. You already know. You already know. Whatever is going to happen from this point forward. I just don't know what to tell you. I really don't. Do you want more lucky charms? <laughs> yes. I need some security. bench <laughs> Whoosh. it's getting warm up here whoo all right so let's you see. check your hair more than I do <laughs> I do I like my hair all right so we just started the trail they said it's a 1.2 mile walk and it's very pretty. It's very pretty. They also said there'll be a part of the trail where it gets very vertical. I think we found that part. Yeah. <laughs> Mix in some altitude. And then you sit there and wonder, this was in 1200? Around 1200 they AD. Yeah, so and then they, this came from, I guess the rock was supposed to be porous from Volcano. So they were able to make their, their dwellings. dwellings. Yeah. I don't know. We still don't know what's up here yet. We're, I imagine it's caves with houses in it, some rocks. We're going to keep going and find out. We brought water. So, and some snacks. But we can't eat We're the not snacks. supposed to eat the snacks because of pack rats. So you have to wait to have the snacks. Can't have a snack. I got to reward myself. After we get down. <laughs> it's very pretty. It is a strenuous, I would say it's a strenuous walk. Yeah. There is not, it's not a handicap accessible. Not a handicap accessible. And the ride in was very pretty, but it is almost an hour and 40 minutes drive all the way back here. So you got to keep that in mind too. Yes. And it would not be where you could bring your RV. You'd cut, you could you'd, do a small one. We saw a like grand design. Imagine. Imagine was back. Here. It was on top of, oh, it was beautiful. But yeah, you couldn't take like our rig. There's no way you could take it in here. We but wouldn't it, made it on the corners. However, it'd be a beautiful motorcycle ride. Yes. This, but it was a little chilly this morning, so yep. we didn't bring the bike, but it would be an amazing motorcycle ride. Yep. All right. Let's keep walking. Up. Up. Up we go. <laughs> Quick side note. As you're coming up, the temperature raises 
at least 10 degrees. There you go. So you start getting a little hotter. Check it out though. So as we're climbing, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of this thing. It's a little warm. Sheila, you're already resting again? Because <laughs> we're close. We're close? Yeah, but look at that view. really pretty incredible this rock is like a it's like a sandstone so it's easy to chip away and then they use some sort of a mortar but you can see all the soot on the ceiling from where they're cooking their fire their fires and stuff you know what's weird that I'm thinking about it's like what about raising a family it's like the kids are driving you crazy you need to send them outside. You throw them out there with a soccer ball or something like that, and you say, kids, go out and play. They kick the soccer ball. It goes down the hill. They got cactuses. They got canyons. Where was their child safety then? That's all I'm saying. There's just no child safety. How oh, dare they? <sighs> she was speechless. I know she's disappointed too. Oh wow, this is much bigger than I thought it was. Holy cow, look at that. Wow. I didn't see this coming. You have a church in here. <laughs> Sing a hallelujah! Yeah, the acoustics. <laughs> Jonathan can work with it. Yeah, Jonathan can do. <laughs> it's amazing. Can you imagine all the like? Uh, I can't even like. I can't imagine the smell from the cooking, and then the wind coming in off of this cave, keeping everything cool, and then you, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, you just don't know what these rooms were. I mean, I'm sure the, the walls were much bigger. that stuff up there yeah that was pretty awesome it is actually pretty awesome I'm sure the videos and the pictures do not do it justice no it's so beautiful it's worth the hike it's worth the drive the history it makes you start pondering a lot of different things I joke about the kickball and the soccer ball but I cannot imagine the life like this is well and you mentioned like okay you gotta go get water and then somebody's going out to hunt for food and yeah you gotta march up here and they i can see why they chose this because of the wind coming through so yeah, yeah. it's it's beautiful though yeah. a lot of creativity and we're blessed that there's not a whole lot of people here so there's a benefit of going in off season yes 
So. But you just can't get up here and look and say that, that I don't know, just the creation of the world is just amazing. Gorgeous. It really is amazing. It's a beautiful spot in New Mexico. Yeah, it was kind of surprised. I was complaining about the rocks earlier in the desert, but there's so many different things to see here. It's yeah. It's nice. All right, now we got a journey down. Usually easier. That's what they say. <laughs> Pueblo peoples trace their ancestry back to this group of people that were here. I wonder why they left the cave in 1300. I think just like anything else, um, they walked away because they probably learned new skills and new living techniques. I guess. Right, like it's not like, I mean, as the as your city. As I mean, your, what else do you have to do? As your tribe or your colony Get grows. food, get water. It could have been a drought a little, too. The, little hanky panky at nighttime in the in the moonlight. Are you? And then all of a sudden, you are <laughs> boom! You've like, outgrown your cave dwellings, and you've got to hit it out. You got to go. Come on, family, pack it up. There are times I think we're just having a conversation. I turn around, and boom! <laughs> I'm just I'm just explaining to them, you know, my thoughts on the history of this, and we all know, you know, I've got great thoughts. <laughs> Well, here's the best thought. He should come visit this. How's that? We, we can be in agreement on that. We yes, won't talk I, about I agree on that. the outgrowing. I'm guessing it was like a drought or something. They had to go and search for water. I like the hanky-panky and outgrowing your space. Of course you That's like what that. happens in RV life sometimes. We are they not outgrow outgrowing our no, space. No, we won't, but there's a lot of them <laughs> that may have to upgrade their RV because of that whole scenario. So... It's a lot of life applicable uh, this applications. This is a family show. You family show. Stop. I know. Stop. Family. On to the next thing. Well, I don't know what that is. Snacks. You get snacks. I get to have. I made it. Made it. I get to have my snacks. RV life. Tip with the 395 MS Grand Design Momentum. One. Can that be any longer of a name? <laughs> So it's moving today, moving. Moving day. Yes. So it's moving day, and we're heading to our next spot. And every time we have to pick this piece up, I flip it upside down. I place it over here. This morning, Sheila goes. Somebody in the comments said something like, "Oh no, the the dealership told you wrong, and said that it needs it doesn't go there. You don't do that." And we're like, "Where in the world can it go?" Because that's what our dealer said. Yeah, that's what we were told. So we're what, eight, seven, eight weeks into this thing? And that's heavy, so I don't lift it. Yeah, so I have to come in, lift it, throw it upside down. When we come back, I have to pull it out, lock it back into place. Guess where it goes? Right there. It'll fit there. It'll fit there. Watch. Take these out and you put them over here in front of the couch. There's some latches, and you bring it over here because it's on rollers, and you rotate, maybe, and you roll it into place. I could probably do that. Peanut gallery over here. That goes down. This comes in. You sit here. It's the same width as this. This closes. We probably will still flip the put the chairs up there just to be cautious. But again, the comments win. The switch crew wins in their comments. Yo, know, I was so frustrated about this component. So now, I guess uh, do I owe Grand Design a, a, an apology? I owe you an apology, Grand Design. The educational process should be a little bit better, a little clearer, maybe. All right, time to move. It's nothing new, but it's so good. Remember this, I said I was concerned about one road. Switch it up. This is This it. is the switch it up road. This, this is definitely switch it up. This is everything you could ever imagine driving the biggest rig you could possibly drive. With overhanging trees, no shoulders. It's only wide enough really for one car, not two. 
she said, just take it slow, you'll make it. And you, people wonder why I have anxiety issues. Not even funny giving you the camera. Being more than friends, yeah. You know, I'm here to stay every single day. Yeah. Well, we've made it to the catwalk. Sheila's idea to take the rig on that wonderful road. Is there any tips we should give them? Go slow. Slow. And you can do it. Stay out of the trees. We were very fortunate there wasn't one car. We didn't pass one car. I guess on this catwalk it's an hour and a half walk. Yep, and it says do not feed the bears, they are dangerous. And I saw that the trash is bear trash, so there's just <laughs> We're in bear country. Who knew in New Mexico we would be in bear country? Okay. So let's go enjoy this. Do we need to register so in case we die? Oh, they, they know got it. They're right. They got. They're on the, the crew. Will come get you it. Come get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is pretty. so much to take in it's it's beautiful like it's stunning many of the bolts that anchored the original pipeline into the canyon walls can still be seen on the trail you can still see the hardware like there you can see I can see one right there so. We wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy. Things are finally right With you and I the future is bright The unfortunate part right now is the trail gave way right here and it all broke apart so they closed it. So we're just trying to see how far we can go. Because that's how we switch things up I guess. I don't know. I want them to notice Who's leading the charge on pushing the envelope this time? Not sure. I have an adventure side to me, so I do. We just didn't wear our water shoes. Yeah, we should have. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Buzz crazy, but things are finally right. You and I, the future is bright. You and I, we got it. We don't need no more. Even in the hard times, you and I can weather.
Nobody likes wet feet. Nobody. Good thing I brought my whole wardrobe. Yeah, we have our whole wardrobe. We gotta go this way, remember? Can we come up? Nope. That's all caved in. Woo, that was a close one. That was a lot of fun. Now, Sheila has to go and change her shoes <laughs> and her socks. Yes. There are perks to actually having your stuff with you because everything's with us. So you can just get in there and do it. Change what, get whatever you need. So what was your favorite part? Dang. I think New Mexico as a whole shocked me. The is just. That is a very, that's a very true thing. It is a been a, a shocking. I was thinking desert and just not very much fun, but. There's it, a lot to do. And it is beautiful. Yeah, there's a lot to see, a lot to do. So I loved the catwalk. That was, but then again, I love the cliff drawings. And the white sands, that's in New Mexico too. <laughs> so New Mexico did not disappoint. It did not disappoint. Now, remember, if you're going to do the catwalk, it is wheelchair accessible. Um, and you'll be able to do that up to a point because everything kind of caved in. Uh, but other than that, you can go past that area and just... I don't know. It's just beautiful. We could spend a lot more time here, but we're off to our next destination, which is Arizona. We're heading to Arizona, which is next as she changes her shoes. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in and always like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. And we will see you on our next little adventure.